Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Question following the announcement from Panasonic about their restructuring and changes to their product line and whatnot. The initially, to me, upsetting news, but I, I think we're okay now. And I've fleshed that out in the last couple of videos, uh, so you can check those out. But a question comes to mind is whether or not Panasonic has too diverse of a offering. Too many cameras. Are they, are they diluting their offering too much and making it confusing? The reason uh, this question came to mind was a viewer comment or question. I guess it was a viewer's question. And um, Nader Shahad, I hope I'm saying that right. He says, I get that the news is startling, but it makes sense, I guess. I think the headline or article could have simply been phrased better. As any business, you have to analyze where you're performing and what areas are weak and have to be reconsidered. I personally think that Panasonic has way too many options in cameras. I just bought a GX8 paired with a 20mm f1.7, a 1235 3.5-5.6, and a 14-140 to 3.5-5.6. Actually, I love that 14-140. to Kind of want to buy it back. And the GX8, love it too. Uh, the amount of research I had to do to pick these out was a bit absurd. There are too many consumer pocket cameras available that are relatively low interest. They should highlight their performers, cut out the rest, and focus on marketing those performers to compete with Sony that's pretty much taking over the market in mirrorless. So, um, that's the question. Should Panasonic narrow down their product offering? I think they definitely should, and I think that's their plan for point and shoots. Again, with the caveat, as I said in the previous video, I, I hope that doesn't include the high-end compacts like an LX10 or even the new FZ2500 Ultra Zoom. Ultra Zooms don't really fall into the category of point and shoots to my way of thinking, but I guess we have to see how Panasonic feels about that. But what do you guys think? Do you think that they should narrow down their ILC offering? Do you think it's that this too much? I mean, they, they have already cut some out of the lineup. They've had GFs and various other ILCs. Do you think maybe it should be the GH5, the G85, and should that even be it? Should they have a lower one? Should, should that be all? Because we have, what, the GX850, I think, is in there? We've got a few other ones in there. How many is enough or how many is too much? What do you guys think they should pare it down to, to be competitive yet still have enough of an offering to interest the people at various levels? How many cameras should be in the ILC lineup? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What should stay in? What should get booted in the sense of going forward? You know, I think that I think it's a given that the GH5 and that series of cameras, you know, previously GH4, GH3, GH2. I think those, obviously, that's a flagship. That's going to stay. I think the G7 and now the G85 lineup has been a good seller and should stay. Now, arguably, you don't have to get rid of the G7 because I think all Panasonic's really doing at the moment and why the G7s are still for sale is they're just clearing out old stock and eventually we'll just see the G85 as that's, it sits at that level in the lineup. And that's still available. And I think that one should still stay available. The GX8, and the previously the GX7, now that's a hard one because I do love that camera. But is that too close to the G85? Does that need to go? I don't know. Personally, with my own personal feelings, I don't want to see it go because I love it. But maybe it needs to for the health of the lineup. And then what about the cameras lower down the chain? Should they be there? They, they probably should have a, a lower end entry level, shouldn't they? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let's, you know, tell me what you think the Panasonic lineup should be now. What should go? What should stay? I'm really interested to hear your thoughts on this. Thanks for your feedback here. Who was that again? Got to page two. Nader Shahad. Thanks for your feedback, Nader. And uh, stay tuned, folks. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.